don't even know how to start this. Oof. What a great way to start a new year, eh? Hi guys, it's Laura and you're watching Laura X Annie. Happy New Year. So, you've probably guessed it by title, I'm here with my Sherlock review. <laughs> um, I'm a bit shook and I'm not going to lie that one of my friends actually just Facebook messaged me going, you okay? I'm not. So I'm just going to go straight into the review because this is... Yeah. Okay, so... Sherlock tweeting essentially makes my life. That was something that made me so happy. They continued with the high from obviously the plane and the tarmac. And we finally got off the tarmac, guys. Let's be happy with that. But that bit, the tweeting kind of made my life. I need to go back and watch it again to see what the actual tweets were and remember them because I can't just now. And... <laughs> I was like, he didn't shit Milverton, then I realised they just doctored the footage and he did shit Milverton. Milverton, not Milverton, Magnuson. Milverton was the original story, Magnuson is the guy. The title sequence was mainly John, yet there wasn't much John in the first episode, which I thought was quite strange and different, And but the title sequence, if you watched it, it's mainly John, which I think is quite interesting. Um, <laughs> Water. There seems to be a whole water theme with this and um, I don't know if this is to do with Moriarty in the pool but there's a lot of water within that first episode and it just is very much kind of water based and I don't understand and it's freaking me out slightly. And then when <laughs> it's never twins. Do you know, I bet you it probably is. They've said that far too many times for them not to use the twin thing. And I did say a headcanon I had with Moriarty being that Moriarty is a twin, Richard Brooke and James Moriarty, they're twins, they're not one person, they're separate people. Um that was to me a thing. I think I said that headcanon at one point. John can drive. Remember, we didn't think he can drive. Because I don't think Martin Freeman can actually drive. I think that's one of the things. I don't think he can drive. Um, Sherlock being Godfather. Knew that was going to come. <sighs> Remember this is the start of the episodes where it's quite good. Because the first 15... Well, I would say the first hour was nice. And then the last half hour was just... I knew there was going to be a christening, but that was easy. I thought there was going to be more to it. Sherlock babysitting, that was the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I paused it because I was like, that is the cutest thing. Sherlock and the baby and the rattle, there's just, that was adorably cute and it just made my day. John flirting made my life. I just, I, I enjoyed the flirting on the bus. We all know that I wanted there to be flirting with not Mary. We all knew this as much as I wished it was with Sherlock. I called it with the car exploding. I, I was sitting in front of my TV going, oh, that car's going to explode. Car's going to explode and it did explode. But not in the way I thought it was going to be. FaceTiming I thought was very interesting to add into it. I think it's very modernising it. Very interesting. <laughs> right up your Strasars. Strasars. Lestrade's line. That was brilliant. I enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thought that was a good add in line. Is your friend quite mad? No, he's just an asshole. That line I enjoyed. Um, I need to concentrate and don't want to hit you. I also enjoyed that line. Detectives fighting over Sherlock. I thought that was quite a good add in. I must admit, I quite liked that wee add in. John's substitute as a balloon I thought was quite funny as well. I thought it was very interesting. I swear I thought John and Sherlock were about to kiss at one point. They obviously didn't. Uh, is it too early for a divorce? This line is everything. That line is everything. That was in a, a clip I'd already seen. Thought that line was everything. You just like this dog, don't you? Well, I like you. That line I thought was like the best John Locke moment we got of the whole episode. Because if you watch till the end, you you know that that was probably probably the only John Locke moment we're gonna get. As a humongous John Locke fan, I think that's the only John Locke moment we're gonna get. As much as everyone's been talking about the bloody kiss. Happy to see the hand-to-hand -hand combat. I have that in caps you probably can't see it but i do have hand to hand combat and caps because i wanted to see the hand to hand combat because if you watch the guy ritchie films it's very much hand to hand combat with sherlock so it's quite nice to see it used in the modern sherlock 
No, it's the pull all over again. That terrified me. I thought this is just the pull all over again. Moriarty is not the boss. Memory Stick WTF. AGRA is a gang. Screw it all. Mary's a traitor. Bloody knew it. Ammo. Could that mean Moriarty? Obviously it doesn't. Uh, all Shezza wants to do is help and Mary <laughs> screws with him again, making him unconscious. Uh, Mini Sherlock and Redbeard, I couldn't even, I just couldn't, I was the cutest wee flashback I'd ever seen. Mary's left, I knew she'd do that, I knew she'd do that. The boat from the promo, when she came off the boat and got one of her aliases, that's the boat that John and Sherlock stand on. It, it'll be maybe, in, I think it may be in the final problem, that may be in the third episode, but I'm sure I, I saw that. Um, uh, and P.S. Me, don't ca don't come back if you go, <laughs> John's face was not happy when he saw uh, Mary in Morocco. Lady Smallwood did not see that one coming. I did not call for that at all. Uh, Scottish girl, yes, John, you get a good Scottish girl's number. Shit, he cheated. John had an affair. That happened. This is us getting into the nitty gritty part. John had an affair. That just screwed with my mind. Um, my shred together again in this scene, thank God. We got... Uh, oh, I'm just hoping for Mycroft and Lestrade. If I don't get Jen Lock, John Locke, just give me Mycroft and Lestrade. Mary getting shot. Let's talk about that. Mary getting shot. That screwed with my mind and that whole because I was st I actually ended up standing up off my couch and freaking out about it because I was like either jo Mary's gonna get shot at and Sherlock's gonna jump in because obviously there's the there's the clip in the trailer with John standing over a bed so I assumed it was Sherlock in the bed and that you know wishful thinking that Sherlock would get shot again and that would be that and no this time Mary got shot and I know I don't like Mary, I don't like the character of Mary, I really don't, I really, really don't. But the consequences of her death and what is caused, I don't know, I'm crying again. <laughs> I spent the last half hour crying my eyes out. But with Mary's death comes so many more consequences and it comes with Sherlock and John and that line at the end saying that he would rather have anyone else but Sherlock comforting him at this moment and you know Sherlock taking the initiative to go to John's therapist Ella and um, the line at the end after the credits go to hell Sherlock from Mary is just <sighs> I knew this season was going to be dark but I don't think I expected it to be this dark and I don't think I expected it to affect me as much as it has just now and yeah, I'm not okay and I don't think any Sherlockian is going to be okay right now and um, we now have a week, less than a week if you're watch when you're watching this to the second episode and I'm going to see the third episode in the cinema, don't think I'm going to cope, I could barely cope with tonight's episode. should probably mention the Sherinford thing, I think it's Colin Morgan that's playing Sherinford, I've heard this, if it's Tom Hiddleston like props to them for keeping it quiet but I think it's Colin Morgan um, but yeah um, that was the first episode and um, I'm not okay and I don't think anyone's okay so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review I'm so sorry that it probably didn't make sense but if anyone else um, enjoyed that there was a song I've put I've made I'm making a playlist for Sh Sherlock essentially for um, the sh I'm doing like playlists and one of the songs I did was I never told you about Colby Callet. And I swear to God, I was listening to it outside because, you know, obviously I had to go out and just take a breather and I listened to it and I started crying again because I was like, this is just... I feel like I called it. I said that either the baby was going to die or Mary was going to die. If you go back to either my John and Mary character arc, I think it's my John and Mary character arc or my John character arc or my Mary character arc. Go back to those three character arcs and um, I mentioned that I think either the baby will die or Mary will die. Out of the two, I'm glad Mary died because I don't think I would have been able to handle... If you see me now with Mary dying, imagine me with the baby dying because... Is it... Hands up if anyone else felt extremely uncomfortable by John when he was holding Mary. That whole... That growling, if anyone else felt uncomfortable. Because <laughs> I felt extremely uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, that's it. 
so I will see you guys on Thursday with my Gone Girl playlist and then see you guys on Monday again for the aftermath of episode 2 I may already be in a curled up ball but um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm sorry I'm crying again <laughs> or losing in the plot but um, yeah no that was something I'll see you guys on Thursday bye